Hello, Malcolm. Hello, everyone else. Welcome back to Kulin here on this far frozen rim world. It's a cold one. I could show you the planet outline, but it takes forever to load. Uh, there's just a temperate belt around the middle. The rest of the thing is solid ice, and we're sitting on the edge of the polar sea up at the North Pole. And anyway, this is an in-betweener episode. Instead of doing something exciting, I thought I'd bring some of the hard part to the screen where we actually are at risk of not making it like this colony could go down within a week or two of colony time right now. So two thrombos just wandered onto the map. It's 117 below out. Uh, I sent trainers out to tame them immediately and it worked out well. The trainers got to them and were training them and they collapsed during training or during taming. So we rescuing them both. It looks like they're both taking separate entrances here, so there's no point in doing a hold open doors. We don't know if they're going to be fast enough, but this is how we got the last thrombo. So we're going to let that happen in a second and see how it goes. We'll watch them. And I'll just tell you what's going on here. Um, we're down to 6,000 rice. Our animals eat at least 2,000 for breakfast, not to mention dinner. And we eat a lot, too. We have no luxury meals prepared. We're uh, out of milk, pretty much. We're out of meat. Uh, we do have some potatoes, and we seem to have enough smoke leaf. We're low on steel. Components are okay. We're okay on meds, but that's because we just bought a lot of meds. We're not manufacturing them nearly fast enough now. They're starting to drain. So we got problems, and we just had an explosion took out half the damn hospital. We're just rebuilding that. <laughs> Actually, it didn't take out half the hospital because it blew a fire foamer. And so the fire didn't spread much. It was only the beds up here that caught on fire. All this stuff down here got foamed. Um, I'm not going to patch up the wiring. I just stuck the fire foamer to the end of the wiring. It's best to keep them on a wire. It gives them a chance to actually work because they, a fire foam popper will sit there in the middle of a huge fire and do nothing. Or in the case of the last one, my kitchen was 238 Celsius. Everyone was lying on the floor, passed out, unable to breathe. The fire foam popper sitting there smiling. You know? Centipedes have blown up an entire sector of the base and it's on fire. And the fire foam poppers are sitting there with a grin on their face. Have making them temperature sensitive, like... That would be kind of nice. Because, you know, normal fire control devices are temperature sensitive. You don't actually have to beat them with a stick to make them work. Okay, enough ranting. Let's see if these thrombos get in and let's see if we can get our rice planted. Uh, we were... Okay. Oh yeah, we got some new folks. Fox, who we imprisoned last time, has still not consented to join us. Too bad. She can stay there till she does. I'm not going to send her out in the cold. She'll die. And Serg was a space pod crash. We rescued him, and he was a devil to recruit. I thought he'd be really easy. I think he was here in prison last episode. He was a devil to recruit. It took forever. We, he actually did a prison break, and we had to shoot him up. And he got mostly bruises, luckily. It was mostly just melee bamming. He's fine. He had a toe shot off in the previous one. Turns out Sammy had a finger shot off. When reviewing the last video, I was like, oh, right index finger or left index finger shot off. Eh? So she got herself a bionic arm because we had one in stock. So she's now manipulation enhanced at 120%. And that's great because she's our primary crafter and tailor. So basically, we just increased her ability to craft and tail. Or tailor, rather. All right, let's see if the thrombos make it in, and let's see if we can plant that rice. And please, game, please no carcinomas. Like, I don't want to have to deal with a carcinoma during an episode. I'm tired of carcinomas. I've, I've literally had 30, 35 carcinomas now. They just keep coming. There have been, like, eight. Eight over the last colony, like, year. It is ridiculous. Oh, well, well, I don't think those thrombos are going to make it in. May's might, Magars won't. Looks like May has a better route. We're at speed 3 here, we're at maximum, so we're watching them come in. Sorry for the long shot, but I want to watch and see. I don't think they're going to make it. No, I'm seeing the thrombos flashing red, flashing red. I don't think they're going to make it. <sighs> I really wouldn't mind getting a breeding pair, even though they're really huge. But I really wouldn't mind a breeding pair. They're about to die. That faster flashing. Oh my god, go May, go. In, May, in. Okay, the thing's in. Now I could have May drop it there. Magar's in too. I think they're both gonna make it. Holy shit. Well, there goes all my rice. Uh, 
look, he dropped that one, but it's alive. Okay, so it has nothing to eat. Wow, I feel dizzy right now. It has nothing to eat, and she's dropped that one. I guess once it recovered, it just struggled free. That must be what happened last time. So I'm going to do the same trick. I'm going to bring these heaters up to uh, just negative six is what I used last time, and that kept the freezer frozen. Coolers, not heaters. Bring these up to negative six. That kept the freezer frozen, and then the barn didn't freeze. And the thrombos were able to get at food. Oops, that's... I uh, want a little more. Oop, no, wrong button. Oh, there we are. I got her, got her. So we're going to hold open the barn door. Hold open this door. So this thrombo can get through there. And then this thrombo is going to need a stack of doors held open to get it to where it's going. So we're going to hold open this door. And we're going to hold open this door. We're going to hold open this door. And then which way do we want it to go? We'll hold open the door to the cooler. All right. Cool. Oh my god. We're in so much trouble right now, man. Uh, these guys are going to mangle our rice. So we've got a tame on those. They're probably going to attack us and kill us. I'm going to bring speed down to one here because the game's running really notchy. It warned me. It said this map size isn't going to run well on I'm starting to run into it now that we're really built out. It's like, kak, 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 kak. <laughs> It's okay, it doesn't wreck gameplay or anything, but it's a bit ugly to look at sometimes. Mm. So we dug another food ball fast as bun rabs because rice was just plummeting. And rice is continuing to just plummet. We do seem to be producing very well on smoke leaf, so I'm... Um, uh, we just got some new colonists though, and their habits will increase. So I'm not convinced I should ditch smoke leaf down. Instead, I guess I better build out rice. But the problem was we didn't get it planted. And then this power out that just happened uh, killed half the crop. More. Over half the crop. They're busy trying to replant the damn stuff. Serg, the newbie, he's on straight gardening. Like he's Oh, he's got lots of other jobs, but gardening is primary. And he's gone from four to gardener to six gardener, just like bingo snap. So that's great because he's really slow right now. If you watch him working, like there, 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 Danny's done, there, 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 Danny's done. Like he's slightly slower than, he's less than 50% Aerodanny's speed. And what's Aerodanny's gardening? Ah, where is Aerodanny, man? We got so many people. And it, so, it sometimes mungles around the arrangement of them on you, so they're not quite where you expect them to be. And Aerodanny's at a 19 growing. Okay, wow, Aerodanny. Wow, just wow, Aerodanny. Like, dude, you're the master. No wonder he's so fast compared to the other guy. Anyway, Sirk's doing his damnedest. He really is. Uh, looks like we're still cresting around 6,000. Um, I better check some temperatures. Okay, that's holding its 14. That's holding its negative 6. That's holding its 20 ish. This is cold as a peanut, but that's okay. These are all cold. They're heated, so that thermal's not going to die in there. It's only 27 below. And it's 11 above in there, so that thrombo should eventually find its way to some food, because it can smell the food, no dubit. And uh, it should find its way to some food, so actually I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the little... Oh, the other one went in the cooler. I could have locked it in. What? Whoa. Oh no, I don't know which thrombo's which now. Oh, it's the ones with the tame symbol on them that I'm worried about. Okay, so as soon as one of them gets in the cooler, we lock it in. Uh, we can't really... We're going to have to get them both in the cooler, pretty much. Okay, here it goes. Okay, going to shut these doors behind it. Uh, slam, slam, slam. They won't shut till someone else goes through them, so there's still a chance it could mess me on this. But I think it's going for a meal, so we're going to go ahead and uh, shut that behind it, too. I think it's going for a meal, so if we could just get the other one to snaffle in here and sweet. Shut that door. Now they're both barn bound. Uh, or at least there's nowhere for them to go except the cooler and the barn, so they're not going to wreck my rice anymore. Nice, nice. Did I get that shut? Yeah, I got that set to shut. Just need a dog to go through it. Our thrombo can go anywhere it wants. These thrombos can't. These thrombos can now eat or go to the barn. Yeah! Wow, I can't believe we pulled this off. How's their health? Did they survive that mess? 
Uh, bite scar stab star old gunshot. They're pretty banged around. No injuries. So we got a juvenile male thrombo age 23. And ah, uh, a female thrombo age 94. And our tame is a male age 82. <gasps> we have breeding thrombos. Oh my god. Uh, this is unbelievable. I mean, given we haven't tamed them yet, that could turn out to be an issue. Okay, Rice is holding around 6,000, but with these thrombos in, I'm going to throw in some uh, rice pods. Even though we seem to be having trouble planting them, I'm going to say um, Serg or Surge there is going to probably come up in level fast enough to make this work out for us. Because Gizmo can plant, Gizmo's a level 19, and he can plant two balls to two and a half balls alone during a shift. So I'm going to say, let's put on those, and let's put on this, and let's put on this. And let's just call that good. Let's call that good, because we're really overloading the gardeners. And some of the gardeners are constructors, so constant breakdowns plus construction projects mean that uh, issues, issues, right? <coughs> okay, the battery's made 45% after the blowout, so we're going to make it. So we're not going to have a second power down event. Time of day is 10 p.m. Novak, main hospital, please. They are not getting around to... Why is this all powered out to pooch? I must have missed a hole in the power in here. Let's check it. Oh, yeah. I missed a hole in the power in here. There's a hole all the way here. That was a big explosion. Like it shrecked the place. I'm glad I didn't take out any of our artwork. Uh, that's a risk. Some of our nice colony history artwork is sitting on uh, power lines, especially in the front kitchen here. We've got some of our good old original sculptures all over the front kitchen, and uh, they could just get blown to pieces by a short. I wouldn't mind moving those probably fairly soon, just to just for you know, safety's sake. I think I will put a haul on this slag because the dogs currently have a new hauling zone out front. Oh, the dogs aren't allowed in the hospital. That slag's going to sit for a while. I don't let dogs in the hospital. The dogs have a new hauling zone out front, and they've taken our diggings out here. Looks messy, but it'll end up looking clean like those once it's full. And then we chew them down to make stone blocks, and that's good because our artists really need some stone blocks. We've been having trouble with art production because of a lack of stone. Okay, rice is holding right around 6,000. I think we're going to make it. Jeez, man, it's rough. Please don't give me a carcinoma or some garbage, like don't just crash a meteor into my station or something. Colonist needs treatment. That I can take. Everybody's got the asthmar. Oh dear, they made me read Lord of the Flies in uh, elementary school. Why you would give a book like that to elementary school children, I cannot imagine. It's not that it's really a bad book, although I very much disagree with William Golding's general premise in the book of like civilization being this thing that's not natural to men and has to be preserved at all costs. Jared Diamond has disproved that. Civilization is built into us. We actually build civilizations automatically. Like, you throw down humans in an area, they don't need to be taught. They'll have a civilization in a week. They'll have technology in a month. We were made that way. We're an old species. Or at least we're a mixture of a bunch of old species, and a lot of them are proving to have been more technological than we thought. Like those little small brain dudes that were burying their dead with ceremony and decoration, and living with more advanced hominids, even though they were considered prehumans. Sass, our major nurse, is still up until recently, and well, we held out with our no problem actually with our 12 beds in here, but we have had them all full with that big fight with the centipedes and the fire and everything, our hospital was jammed. So I was thinking about both our shortage of meds production, yeah, we got 171 meds, but we bought a bunch. We were absolutely tailing out. We had some traders come, and we spent a fortune. We spent 10,000 silver boosting out the stuff we're behind on. At least we got neutroamines to burn, because we haven't been making meds. But I thought, I'm going to turn this... I was debating what to do with this room. 
I think I'm going to turn it into a meds production room. I'm going to make specific preferred stashes for neutroamines, cloth, and herbals. And I'm going to make maybe one or two meds making stations, and I might even call it an experimental hospital and put a couple beds in it and just use them for bionic surgeries and stuff like that. Just so it's like, ooh, it's bionic surgery, it's experimental. I love it when it's snowing in this game. I love the snow. So here's the rec room with its proper lighting and how this is how I concluded it should look. It looks very dark around the pool table, but it is 43% and 48% and even in places 50% lit. I could slam another pair of green lights in here, but there's no way to center them. These are two bricks wide, so you're going to end up with ones that are... Oh, you know what I could do? I could off-center them like this. So I could go one here and one here. I wonder about that. I think I'm going to go with four of them and slam that in and then we'll just play with activating them and deactivating them to see how it looks. Because I think the pool table should be more lit and it wouldn't be bad if the chess tables were better lit, but they're pretty well lit. They're at 50. But they don't look as bright as they could. So we're going to slam in those four green lights. Because it's just going with green. If I put white in there, the slate shows up black just like it does in here. Now that's nice and all, but the black slate with the green is swank. The only thing that's a fail is my beautiful green armchairs aren't so bloody beautiful green. Maybe my coveted jade chess sets wouldn't look that good in there either. Wow, construction team hasn't even touched this yet. It's 11 a.m. and they haven't even touched it. Uh, they got the hospital reboot fixed. Yeah, that's cool. We do still have a tame on both of them thrums, right? And they'll have plenty to eat in there. Uh, I mean, if our crops work out, they'll have plenty of eat in there. Our crops don't work out, and they're not going to. Uh, we're down to 5,000 rice. Wow, Jesus Christ. This is pretty scary. we got some coming mature here. 82% grown at 1 p.m., so that might crop off today. Or it might crop off tomorrow, leaving us down to like 2,000 rice. This looks crappy. 88%. That will crop off today, I'm pretty sure. And we're not planted out. You know, we're not planted out. Where's the gardening team? I do not see them in full effect. We're planted out down here. See, this is the part of the game I don't usually put in episodes. This is the part where you're just up, you're you're on the edge of your seat, but you're not really doing anything. You're just like, oh god, oh god, oh god, come on, guys, build it, build it, build it, build it, build it, hurry, hurry. And they are. They they're doing their best. Their work priorities are well set up. They're hard workers. Mm -hmm. They have a light schedule. They have only five hours of work a day. Ten until twelve, and uh, two until five they work. But they put in a ton of work out of schedule without being asked. And that gives them time to do what they want and be satisfied and happy all the time. And so what we've got, I mean, smoke leaf aside, that's, that's one thing. But what we've got is we've generally got good moods. They're not looking as high as usual, but we have been through some heavy stress recently. I'm just just eyeing the mood bar. That's the big blue one at the top right of the uh, needs panel that we're looking at. So people are pretty happy. They are not as happy as they were last year in the colony. I'm telling you that. It was last year that I did this. And they're not quite as happy. They're pretty happy. They're not doing bad. They're not quite as happy. They're a little strained. So, yeah. The dogs are taking care of the hauling work. That's awesome. Uh, they've hauled some of the junk out of there, and Sid's cleaning up the wreckage. It's important to keep the hospital clean to sterile. That's why you put in the silver tile, because you can't get sterile without the silver tile. But Oh, it's cleanliness sterile. I guess that's just rubble, and it doesn't count. Look at the ugliness on it, eh? Minus 20s. Oh, so she is sterile again, so the hospital is GTG. Good. We keep our jail cell the same. It's got a hospital bed and sterile flooring. Um, I would like to put a vitals monitor. Another spacecraft chunk. We are surrounded by them. This one's close enough I'm tempted to order some deconstructed. You know, I don't think they deteriorate. They're like, here's one. Now it's down to 216 out of 300 because we had a fight on it. Um, but we got spacecraft chunks all over. They've been littering the place. Here's some more. And yeah, 300 out of 300, 300 out of 300. So when we want the components and, and stuff, steel, I think, I'm not sure if there's plasteel in them, then we'll go get it. Um, it's not worth the work cycles right now. Those are long distances. They're, it's not bad. 
And that's another thing about having the work schedules, the uh, restrict schedules set up just right. They need enough anything time, and they can always eat into their joy time and stuff. But they need to be able to get between these work sites and still get themselves some lunch. A lot of them will carry meals, which is great. Rice is holding at 5k. Jeez, that sucks. Eridani's out here working at 8 p.m. That's good. Thanks, Eridani. Gizmo's up working at 8 p.m. He's just started his shift. And that stuff will come cropping off tomorrow like a fury. But since it's resting, it's nighttime, then Giz might have tr time to plant everything out, especially because Eridani and Surg are uh, banging on it. So that's the first time we'll have everything planted out. Look, Lexi's out here doing it too. She's our 94 year old grunt. She's a good un. She was a convent child, and then she was a low-wage worker supporting family as an adult. And now here she is, 94 years old. She came stumbling in out of the snow, calling in a clear, strong voice on the radio. Can you please help me? There are there are people chasing me, and it's very, very cold. Please help me. And we were just like, oh, come on in. Got her vital stats. It's just like 94, eh? Wow. And she's a steadfast unit. Well, I don't think steadfast's a trait on her, but she's actually she's ugly and she's a pyromaniac. <laughs> I don't know why we've got her. She's a really good grower. She's a really good grower, and she's been putting in the time. She's at 16 on growing now, so that's fine. The pyromania has cropped up a couple times with her. It's pretty annoying. It's pretty annoying. It's another spacecraft chunk. It's been spacecraft chunks and cargo pods. It's as though there's like 10,000 destroyed ships in orbit in a band right over this area of the planet. Maybe a polar orbit's a common orbit. I don't know. Thank goodness to see that wind giving us our full 3,000 watts off all our myriad turbines because, uh, wow. It was scary. Losing that crop to power outage was pretty bad. Okay, colonist needs treatment. Fallow, it's night time. It's 3 in the morning, so... Off over here at Giz's. Con oh, Giz finished planting. Oh no, Giz is still up here planting. Okay, because I thought if he finished planting, he's going to be over tailoring or whatever. But now here he comes to do the med. No, no, he's still planting. Somebody else doing the med? Must be. Yeah, Gorilla came in to do the med. How good's Gorilla at medical? Let's find out. Gorilla? 84% treatment quality. I mean, he's got boosters from the hospital bed and the vitals monitor, but that's fine. Gorilla's a decent morning nurse. It's very smart early in game to take anyone who has a medical passion, even if they stink at medicine. But if they've got the passion, get them on medicine number one, emergency maximum job setting, right away. And then within a while, what you're going to have is passionate doctors who have enough skill. And then you have a few. Because we do. We have enough doctors. Let's pop it open. We have skilled doctors and semi-skilled doctors, and we have enough of them. And then everyone does emergency doctoring. Just like animal handling, everyone's got it for a four. If there's nothing else to do, do it. And if there's no one else to do it, do it. It doesn't matter if you have a zero medical skill, you know. You need to bandage the doctor. That's what happened during this burn. I mean, there are a lot of untrained people practicing their medical skill there. Like, holy smokes, we were shracked. We just barely made it through that, eh? We've patched everything up. It looks normal in here again. It looks normal in here again. We've patched it all up, but boy, they made a mess. So yeah, we'll make a medical center out of this. We'll make an experimental hospital. We'll join it. Perfect. We'll join it to the main hospital through here and make some additional storage or workroom space in here. And I had one more thought on additional storage and workroom space. Now that we've cleaned this, uh, yeah, we'll join the hospitals down here, and up here, I'm going to put a very small storage that's just for rice and berries. Because they don't go bad very fa Actually, berries go bad fairly fast if they're not frozen. Rice keeps for good. So we'll just make it rice. We'll make a rice stash here to speed up the cooks from having to go up and grab rice all the time. Um just knock a little bit of time off the cook's work. So I'll get the orders on that right now. Just grab mining. Uh, no, I don't. No, you know what? We're going to call the episode at this point, actually, because I wanted to bring in the hard part, and I wanted you to see us bringing in thrombos. Uh, where's the other thrombo? T 
Dude, what? How did it get out? Where is it? What the hell? How did it get out of there? Where do you suppose it's gone? That's our tame one. So is there another thrumbo around the base somewhere? What's... Like, did I miss something? Dude, did I miss something? It's hard to miss a thrumbo. Uh, where the hell is our spare thrumbo, dude? What just happened? Don't tell me the female disappeared on us, because that'll make me really worried. Uh, that's the female, good. So the juvenile is gone? Did we kill it? I don't see it in the freezer. Okay, I am really confused right now. Speed back on one and maybe I'll see it moving. Oh, it is. It's in the barn. Nice. I think we're going to have to leave the barn open for the other one. Because I would like to trap them both in the barn. Wow, I can't believe I missed that. I was a little worried. So that's a juvenile male, and we've got an adult female and an adult male. Wow, we've got thrumbage. We got thrumbage, man. Let's see how trained ours is. Oh, he's trained for obedience at last. That was hard. Uh, so now we got to work on release, rescue, and haul. It's going to be a long go. I was going to say long haul, but then I was like, you know, I better not say long haul right after I said haul. And yet I'll make the worst frickin' jokes humanly possible on a regular basis. We are down to 4,300 rice. But we do have a crop banging in right now, so. And it looks like the gardening team is in, oh, pardon me, 80% effect. They're out there working, so yeah, oh yeah, here's the rest of the gardening team grinding away. Harvest failed, harvest failed, harvest failed. Is something wrong with Lady that she's bailing this? Uh, nah, she's eight growing. She shouldn't be wiping it out like that. She's not, she doesn't like growing, but she has to. We need her help, so let's just check her health. Moving is poor. Efficiency, 48%. Left leg bites car... Wow, she's pretty much a candidate for a bionic leg. Like, moving it poor? No, no. Oh, stoned on smoke leaf. Moving minus 30%. So she would have 78% without the smoke leaf. So she is, Lady is actually a candidate to use up our one bionic leg, but I think we'll hold off just in case... Uh, just in case we get a really bad injury, someone's leg gets blown off or something. We'll just hold off, because those things are expensive, and we don't have a lot of silver. Well, I mean, we do have a lot of silver, but we need to think about it. All right, construction team. Way to rock, guys. Way to rock. So we'll switch these to rice as soon as they're built. That's my way, is uh, get on that quick, because otherwise you got people planting potatoes. Phoebe is getting better at construction. She's not bad. Let's just check her construction skill. Thebe, what's your skill? Construction 6, and she's got double passion, so she's going to learn real quick. She couldn't even finish that basin on her shift, though. She had to go get lunch before she finished it up. That's okay, Fallow's pretty fast hand. He's learned. He's a bit of a lazy stoner, basically. He's always going on smoke leaf binges, but when he works, he works pretty good. He bangs it off pretty sharpish. Cargo pods have been coming constantly. It is nuts. I do not understand why I'm getting bombarded by them. It's a bunch of meat. You know, we'd like some meat, but considering that it's 400 miles through f 111 below temperatures to get that meat, I think we're going to go with no luxury meals. Oh, we got three luxury meals. They must have used up that bit of milk. No, we still got a bit of milk. Our meat animals haven't rebred yet. Uh, we got some eggs coming, good. But I controlled down their breeding to control rice. I knocked out most of the females, and now I'm noticing I have no meat. And I knocked out my alpacas because I was getting muffalo wool built up. Oh yeah, this is the other balance problem I'm in right now, and it's a really dangerous one. I mean, we can take emergency measures like cloth parkas if we need to. And we can take emergency measures like using lower quality, more worn out clothing if we need to. But I pulled out the alpaca because I saw we had a good stack of muffalo wool. I was like, okay, it's time. And the muffalo are producing this wool really slowly. Like, it's at 87%. It's taking as long for a muffalo to grow a coat of wool 
as it takes for a baby muffalo to grow into a bloody adult muffalo. So we got a bit of a problem with that, and we had a bulker come by, and I was like, please have wool of any kind. He didn't have wool of any kind, so we may have to get emergency-ish and uh, get out Cloth Park, us treatment, treatment, treatment. This asthma, can't they just carry a puffer? 4 p.m.? I'm going to send you to Maine. I'm going to send you to Maine, buddy. Um... Lost my train of freaking thought. Oh, that blew me off the road. What the hell was I just talking about? Muffalo wool, yeah. Let's see how many parkas we have in raid. Let's see how many parkas we have in stock before we deal with the raid. We've got seven parkas in stock. We're almost out of toques. So we can make cloth toques in an emergency. Hmm. Mechanoids and drop pods, eh? Really? Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're um screw it, man. You're going to have to come out here wheezing with asthma. Everybody is drafted everybody to a uh, defensive posture here, please. We're just going to wing this. If it bails, it'll be a bad ending for the episode. But we're just going to roast these little jackholes. Oh, pardon my language. Uh, I think we're taking a bad... Like, cargo pods? I'm not even looking what's in them. I don't care at this point in time. Okay, it looks like we've really come to meet the enemy in a really unfortunate way. And maybe we shouldn't do that. So, let's just uh, get everybody back off to a backup location. We really need to get those auto turrets out, you know, because those guys aren't going to quit trying to come in at all, eh? Uh, I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they'll freeze to death. Do they freeze to death? It's 113 below. I think they're only comfortable to 100 below. Minimum 100 below. Fast, spindly, human-sized combat mechanoids. They usually carry one primary ranged weapons, and their bodies are adorned with two articulated blades to make them deadly in melee combat. They don't use cover. Best handled by concentrated overwhelming force. Well, since they very handily moved off... Oh, snap! Animals! Get that thrombo inside! Oh, no! We're going to lose our freaking thrombo. It won't go. We can't get it to... Oh, uh, really? No! Okay, we better make this fast, because that thrombo's going to die. Come here, you little jerk-offs. Stupid thrombo. Oh, who's its master? That'll solve our problem. Master Red, Red, you're out. Oh, half our guns are in the storeroom, dude. Oh, no. Where's these scythers? Come back here. Oops, there's one right there. Bunch up and fire. One down. We'll just unforbid the old corpse and... Hope that Thrumbo uh, got back inside safe. So where are these little guys going to? Damn, we're gonna chase them out here? What the hell? Do we actually really have to chase these things down? It's looking that way, isn't it? Oh, come on, give me speed three, man. I know we're in combat, but I need speed three right now. Right now, like, stop this. Is it busting its way in? Like, where's Scyther 2? Oh, for God's sakes. What the hell? Where's the other one? I'm so not enjoying this. Come on! Where are you going? You know, we're going inside. We're going home. Everybody go back to your business. We'll take care of these things when they get to the base, I guess. What's it gonna do? Break our power conduits? Oh, it's gonna break a light bulb, eh? Smashed a light bulb. Thanks. Do they ever freeze? No. Moving poor? Really? Oh. Moving poor. Efficiency 60. Oh, that's interesting. Does that mean it is suffering from the cold? 
we don't. Bundy has died because of hypothermia. We lost a husky. You know what? We're outie. We're outie, man. We're outie. I'm gonna pretend this never happened. I'm gonna pretend this never happened. Because, you know, the Sathers weren't a serious threat, but I handled them very badly. And we lost a dog. And it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. They were not a serious threat. We've handled much more serious threats. But I handled those badly. Probably because I'm in episode and talking instead of being like, How shall I handle the Scythers? Let me count the ways. <coughs> I, if it had spawned like 60 centipedes or something, I think I would have cast thunder from the heavens upon them. I did that once. Went into dev mode, got out event thunderbolt, and I was like, Armed with the rods of Zeus, I venture forth upon the field. That was fun. Made a lot of noise. Broke the heck out of the centipedes. But generally, the colonists can do this. They can do this, but we are not fully gunned up, for one thing. There should have been twice as many bullets coming out of us, because we lost all our weapons down in that fire. I, in fact, the weapons got damaged. But we have said weapons, so may... Yeah, to bed. That's where I saved. And, uh... So we'll get everyone gunned up again, because, yeah, here's our snips. There's all our charge rifles. Like, look at that. There's, like, five. One, two, three, four, five charge rifles in there. And we need to build some charge rifles. Um, but we need Sammy's tailoring skills to be more online first. So we're not going to get her to build the charge rifles. Because uh, our new folks need some gunnery. They're not armed. So, uh, yeah, we got to build some. we got the materials to make them. All right. This time, and now animals, let's just check these. See, they should not be coming. Yeah, Bundy Husky Puppy, yeah. He should not have been coming with. Should not have been coming with. Isabel Husky Puppy won't get trained because we have to sell her. Sorry, is, but uh, Orange is still pretty young and healthy. And Madame is still alive and has the occasional puppy. She is now 18. Uh, homeboy, her mate has had his first heart attack now. Um, let's check him out. He's our... I mean, they're our first dogs. He's 15. And that's about when Madame had her heart attacks, and she hasn't had them since. Jerry has had a heart attack, but he recovered just fine. We got to him real quick, and he recovered just fine. Uh, Mars is fighting with Valdez, eh? Yeah, pull that sword. That's when the fight ends, is when that plasteel sword appears. I know it's just an artifact of the way the software works, but it is kind of funny, the end of the fight, they both pull weapons. It's like, oh yeah, fight is over. So you guys think you're off to smoke one, do you? No, I'm afraid you are going to hospital. And so are you. You're relaxing socially, are you? I believe that's code for smoking one. Get to hospital, you little turkeys. You're wasting work cycles with your foolish bumping. Mars looks like she's hurt her leg there. And Lady moving at like 12% efficiency there. Definitely thinking about slamming a bionic leg on her. We've got a real good surgeon in Sass. She is uh, 16 and she stays 16. She has the double passion. She just stays at 16. Uh, yeah, she can do it. She put uh, Sammy's arm on, no problem. Just bim done. Okay, well, I'd say this episode was mostly a success, except for how badly I handled those Scythers. And yeah, you're seeing the tough part. Rice is back up to 6,700, so we did probably pull that out. Oh, it looks like I've got another potato bay to convert to rice here. So pop that to rice. Pop that to rice. Just make sure. Rice, rice, rice. Rice is nice. It's from an old commercial, eh? It's for soap or something. Rice is nice. Ah, a bunch of stoners must have made that commercial, actually. Alright. We're good and we're out. We have now got breedable thrombos, although taming them. <laughs> now that's two chances for someone to get mauled. For an aggregate 5.0% chance to get mauled. That's not very good odds, considering that's only a 0.5 to tame them. But the last one's self-tame. So we're good with these guys self-taming. And they can stay in the cooler. The cooler's at next six. That's It's fine that these things fight each other. We've got the electrical power for it. I think. Yeah, I think we're okay on power. 
So we're just getting a wind up now, and we got 75% in the battery, so I think we're okay. Giz is out planting. It's a peaceful night. It's been a peaceful day, except for the stupid scythers. That was badly done. I wouldn't have reloaded except for the dog freezing to death. That sucked. Anyway, you guys, hope you had fun watching the grind here. And we will see you all soon for the next episode. So until then, bye for now.